Yes, we can make that work. Great, well, I'll see you then. Well, why don't you have a look at the menus and your server will be right with you. Marcy. Did uh, Amber show up yet? No, oh, not yet. Um, I tried calling, but no answer. I've been covering houses in the meantime. <laughs> Try again. Keep trying. <laughs> Ladies, how's everything? Sinful. Decadent. That's what I like to hear. You know, they're saying this is the best new restaurant in the city. Well, they have great taste. <sighs> Dylan. Yes, Mr. Miller. Another round on the house for the beautiful ladies, whatever their pleasure. Patron Silver. Straight up. Wait, you have to stay and do a shot with us. I'm sorry, I gave up drinking tequila. It makes me do very bad things. Michael? I'm sorry, could I just steal you away for a second? Sure. Okay. I'll be back. Um, so, I finally got a hold of Amber. So Amber's been in an accident. She's in the hospital. Is she okay? Apparently she has a concussion and a broken leg. Excuse me. We have a reservation? Um, do you want me to still cover hostess? Um, no, you go back to your tables. I got this. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. No problem, folks. I'll have you wine and dining no time. And dessert's on me. Thanks. This way. figure I'll just sleep when he goes to college. How was your night? It was great. My hostess broke her leg. Huh? And I ended up seating guests all night. Oh, my goodness. What, you only have one hostess? One good one. I'm going to hold interviews this week. How busy were you? I was slammed. But I mean between the comps and the vendors. My books are bleeding worse than a porterhouse. It takes time to turn a profit. It's been almost six months. Yeah, you're already the talk of the town. Money talks. Mm. You know, my dad said he would love to help you. No. I want to do this for myself. Well, what about me? Can I pitch in? I could go back to work a little earlier. You were the one who wanted to be home for the first year. I still do. I think it's great. I love being Evan's mom. I just... Sometimes... Oh, it's complicated. I don't think you would understand. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? I'm doing my sit-ups and drinking water and walking every morning, and... I still just kind of feel a little bit like a Sharpay. Oof. I love it when you talk dirty. You're just trying to get lucky. Is that so long? And then two years at Chiani's before they closed. Yeah, that was a shame. Great stretch to tell you. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm a psych major. I find it helps me, you know, comes in handy when I'm helping customers and seeing how they react. I can bench 250. Uh, that's great. I'll be in touch. I'm sure you will. Hi there. Hi. Can I help you? Yes, I'm here about the hostess position. I'm Michael. I'm the owner. Yes, I know. Have we met before? Not exactly. No. Right. I've seen. Uh, so your name? Suzanne. Uh Dell. Dell. I don't remember seeing your application. Yes, so, um, the truth is, I saw the job posting online, and I just figured I'd crash. I just moved here from out of town, and I really need a steady gig. So where are you from? San Francisco. Spent two years in San Fran working for a hedge fund. So you know Dominic's? I love that place. I host us there. I cannot believe I never ran into you there. My loss. Uh, look, I gotta be honest with you. This is only a, a temporary position. My current hostess, she's in the hospital. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Is she gonna be okay? I mean, she will be. They say she'll be back in a couple of months. I might have some temporary work after that, but I... It's fine. I am also a personal trainer. I mean, that's really what I love doing. I just need to be able to make some extra cash until I can build up a clientele here. You're not going to tell me you have a drug problem or something, are you? <laughs> well, I do enjoy the occasional cocktail. I wouldn't trust you if you didn't. Why don't you go home and get changed, and I'll see you back here at five. I got the job. Unless I miss something? Yes, you did. Great. Thank you. I, um... I'll see you tonight, then. Okay. Now, I guess I just thought things would get a little easier. Hire a nanny. I'd hire three. I'm going to. I'm, I'm about to interview one. Oh, I love taking care of Evan so much. I just thought Michael would be more involved. Well, he's running a restaurant, you know? He's running a new restaurant. You know how much work that is. I know. I sound like I'm complaining, but I'm not. Good. You know? You found one of the great ones. Trust me. I've been through enough of them to know. You would know. Yeah. She's a rocket. Look at me a little hostess cupcake. I'm just happy she showed up when she did. I mean, she made a real lifesaver. I don't know how you do it, man. Do what? If you flag at half mast. If I own this place, I'd be knocking them down like bowling pins. I, I am married, remember? I'm still mourning the death of my wingman. Hey, right, anyway. I've changed. People don't change. They settle. Uh, car trouble? Yeah. <laughs> Do, um... Do you have any idea what we're looking for? Not much of any. <laughs> I know what I thought. <laughs> Great. And of course, I just canceled my AAA. Oh. Here. Thank you. Wow, I had no idea it gets so cold here at night. You should see the winter. I don't suppose maybe you could give me a ride home? Sure. What about your car? Well, there won't be a mechanic open this late, so I'll just, um, call and deal with it in the morning.
Thank you. Turn here? Yeah. It's this older building on the right. Oh, the nice. It's not that bad. It's much nicer on the inside. I should be getting home. Shifting these tables over here into section four. Sure, to eliminate the crossover. Exactly. Mm -hmm. you know, I want to thank you again for coming in early to help me out with this stuff. It's my pleasure. Um, what's your tattoo? Which one? Oh, um, that one's for my little sister. She's the angel on my shoulder. The devil on the other one. I'm sorry. I... Hi. For what? Hey. What are you guys doing here? See what they don't tell you after you give birth. The cravings don't go away. Spicy Thai noodles. Yeah. I am sorry, honey. This is uh, this is Suzanne. Suzanne has been filling in for Amber. Suzanne, this is my wife, Catherine. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you as well. And this handsome little man must be Evan. Yes, that's him. He's going to be quite the lady killer. Well, just like his daddy. Uh, why don't I put that order in for you? Great, thanks. Oh, God. She seems really sweet. Yeah. It's a shame she's not pretty, though. You know, it's kind of a prerequisite for the job. Oh, is it? Yes. When did it become a prerequisite for the job? <laughs> you know, you guys didn't have to come all the way down here. I would have sent someone to the house for you. But I never get to see you anymore. Kind of feel like Rapunzel stuck in her tower. You know what I think? I think you and I, we need to go to New York City. I think you and I need some alone time. We can get a nanny. I think the prospects of that are getting higher as we speak. Well, then I'm going to make a reservation. You are?
I just don't understand how in the world this happened. I don't know. Maybe somebody was smoking in the basement. Thank God no one got hurt. Yeah, there was smoke everywhere. I can't reopen until the city signs off on the cleanup, and that could take weeks. Guess that means we're not going to New York. I'm sorry, honey. I just, I can't. <laughs> you're gonna hire competent people. It's not like you're gonna clean the restaurant yourself. Look, I have to be there if I want this done right. Right, because business will always come first. It will when it's on fire. <sighs> hey, look, I am sorry. But you know, the tickets are already paid for. Why don't you just go yourself? Oh, that sounds like fun. A romantic getaway for one. Okay. Go with your sister. Girls weekend in NYC. A little food, a little shopping, some shows. I did already hire the nanny. You're gonna have a blast, and she's gonna give me time to figure out things here. And then I will plan us a real vacation. You better. Taking advantage of the night off. Thought we'd grab some drinks. Thought you might want to come with. I got all the drinks I need right here. Yeah, but you don't have the company. Come on, it'll be fun. Let's go. Come on. No sense in drinking alone, big boss. Nothing good is going to come from us going in there. Here we go, guys. Woo! Shots all around. Nice. I'm good. Yeah, I'll bet you are. Hey, Michael, what do you think about new uniforms for the waitresses? Uh, I'm not going to wear that. <laughs> Will do. Do you? A toast? To, um... Bottoms up. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Do you care for a private dance? We're good for that. Oh. Speak for yourself. One more. Speak for you. Do it. Good night, Michael. Good night. Bye, 
Why don't we just walk? Kingdom for a cab. Let's just walk. Uh, because we both live miles in different directions. Well, no, I'm uh, I'm staying at a hotel just um, for a couple nights. It's a couple blocks. Come on. A hotel. Yeah, my building is getting fumigated. Roaches. Yeah, and roaches. <laughs> Come on, it's got a great bar. I really should be gone. One drink. Please. Please, 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 please. Hundreds of guys trying to break down your doors. I, I am very selective. I know exactly what I want. I can see that. Mm, I'm glad you noticed. Oh, I've noticed. I really like you. And I'm really happy that you came to work for me. I'm married. Yeah, I know. No, I can't. No matter how bad I might want to. Look, you're a big boy. Come here. Sleepyhead. What happened? You don't remember? I mean, what the hell did you do to me? Well, that's a long list. Can I have the key? Sorry? The key for the handcuffs. Don't you have it? Just give me the damn key. You know, if you're not careful, you're gonna hurt my feelings. 
Can I have the key? Please. That's better. But I don't have it. Where are you going? Don't worry, check out's not till noon. Suzanne! Suzanne! I can do for you today. That's 678. Here you go. Okay. There you go. See ya. Hey, how you doing? Can you help me with that? Wouldn't be the first time. Won't be the last. at the restaurant all night. You usually have your cell phone with you. I just, I left it in the office, and by the time I saw that all the messages you had left, you know, it's just too late to call you back. Huh. Look, I'm sorry, you know, I'm just... I'm not myself these days. So how's the trip going? Oh, it's, it's great. <laughs> Gwen is downstairs at the gym, which is probably what I should be doing. So, how is Evan liking the new nanny? Great. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm He's... so relieved. <laughs> yeah, he's doing great. They're getting along really good. Well, can I talk to her? You know, honey, she just took him out for a walk. Okay. You want me to have her call you when she gets home? No, no, it's fine. As long as he's happy, then, then I'm good. I'll just see you guys tomorrow, right? I can't wait to see you. I love you. I gotta go, okay? Bye. So, last night was really fun. We should make that, like, a weekly thing. Yeah. Uh, has Suzanne called yet? No, I don't think so. Maybe she's still recovering. Yeah, maybe. Oh, speak of the devil. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> Good night last night. No kidding. Can I see you in my office? Sure, see me anywhere you want. <laughs> Ready to go again so soon? I don't know what you think happened last night. Whatever it was, it was a mistake. You seem to be enjoying yourself. I don't remember a damn thing. Why the hell would you just leave me there like that? Come on. I was just having a little fun. You know what I think? I think it might be better for both of us if you didn't work here anymore. Oh. So, you slept with me, and now you're firing me? Look, it was temporary. I will give you two weeks severance. Gee, thanks, boss. I will even write you a reference letter. <laughs> wow. And what'll it say? Excellent people skills and amazing in bed. Okay, four weeks. You still don't know what this is about, do you? What do you mean? You're being punished, Michael. You've been a very bad boy. I told you that it was a mistake. What the hell do you want from me? You were on the right track. I want money. But I want $75,000. Are you are you crazy? I want it in cash by tomorrow. Or I tell your little wife what her husband likes to do when she's out of town. You planned this all along. I can always spot a sucker for a pretty face. 
Yeah, well, I don't have that kind of cash. Hmm? Come on. Big, high roller like yourself. Everything that I have is tied up into this place. You'll get it. You're the type that gets whatever he wants. I'm not giving you a cent. Sorry? No. You heard me. You can tell Catherine anything you want. I'm just going to deny it. Who do you think that she's going to believe? Gosh. Yeah, you're right. You are a pretty convincing liar. <laughs> oh. Have you checked her email lately? Why? No reason. <sighs> See you tomorrow. credit for the restaurant is for the restaurant besides there isn't that much available what about a personal loan with your debt ratio there's no way i could justify it i mean there must be some way for me to get this money i'd hope if you could tell me what it's for I'm pretty sure it wouldn't well the only thing i could suggest would be a home equity loan all right fine let's do that Okay. Um, but since the house is in both of your names, you'll need your wife's signature on the application. You know, we just had a baby. Oh, congratulations, boy or girl? Boy. Oh, my boy will be 10 in uh, January. Best part of my life. Anyway, it's, it's kind of hard for her to leave the house, so can I fill this out here and run it right over to her? Sure, no problem. so glad to be home. Look, I'm really shy, honey, but I gotta run. What? I want to hear all about your trip to New York. So I'll see you tonight? Well, yeah, we'll be here. <laughs> say bye, Daddy. We'll be waiting for you. Bye. Yeah? Say bye-bye. Bye, Evan. You are so smart. Yes, you are, Jean. You look so good. Thank you. Let's just get this over with. Bye by me. You know, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. That's great, I've seen enough. So shy all of a sudden. How am I supposed to know you didn't make copies? Trust me, if I could erase the image from my mind, I would. Never mind making copies. <laughs> I'm supposed to trust you now? I don't really see where you have the choice. But for what it's worth, I keep my promises. I mean, what is that even supposed to mean? I have no interest in making things messy, Michael. Do you? No. Give me the money. It's 
It's all there. It's all there. I just got one question. Why me? Maybe it was just your karma. Hey, what happened to Suzanne? She had another opportunity. Hey, I know this girl who could fill in. Just until Amber gets back. She's super hot. No. No, I'm gonna have Marcy do it. Marcy? Yeah. Something wrong with that? Nope. No, no problem. keeping a secret what are you talking about Suzanne it's embarrassing especially when a woman looks like that honey I I just wish you had told me that she's a personal trainer oh I yeah. she kicked my ass do you really think you need a personal trainer she said it was all your idea yeah, I, I mean, well, we talked about it, but... Yes, I do. I think this is exactly what I need right now. Five grand. I didn't really have a choice. Yeah, you could have had her whacked for a fraction of that. How do you know if she doesn't still have copies of the tape? Because she didn't ask me for more money. Not yet. tells me that this is more than money. I mean, you know, it's like she has an agenda for me. Maybe it's personal. He says she's from San Fran, right? You sure you never... <laughs> no. I mean, you've forgotten more girls than I've ever met. And you used to get pretty blasted back in the day. Chucky, a guy would have to be in a coma to forget a girl like that. I've got a client. It's a private investigator. 
the coin this guy brings in. It's gotta be good. Get and check her out. Yeah. You see now that actually helps. The only thing is I'm a little low on cash right now. Don't worry about it. I put him on Yahoo when it's still in the 20s. He owes me. Thanks, Chuck. Sign here, and your account will officially be activated. I really appreciate all the personal attention. Michael Miller's a good customer. Any friend of his. He's a friend of yours. If there's ever anything I can do. Oh, well, um, you know, if it wouldn't be too much of a bother, I do need to make a phone call, and my cell just keeps cutting out on me. Of course, here. Thank you. from Eastway Federal Bank. May I please speak with Michael Miller? Oh, he's not here right now. He's at work. Oh, I already left a message there. Is this Mrs. Miller? Um, yeah. Mrs. Miller, this is just a courtesy call to ensure your husband was completely satisfied with the service he received on Monday. Oh, well, that's nice. Usually only car dealerships do stuff like this. <sighs> yes, well, it's not our usual policy, but since it was such a large cash transaction, we just wanted to make sure that everything went smoothly. Hmm, what was the transaction? Well, I'm not allowed to give out that information. Well, I'm his wife. My name is on all the accounts. Just check your computer. One moment, please. I do apologize, Mrs. Miller. Your husband took out $75,000 in cash. Any further questions or you'd like any more information, please feel free to call back and speak with the bank manager. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Anytime. Michael? Really? Yeah. Excuse me. Hey, honey, are you cravings again? No, we need to talk. Now. Is something wrong? $75,000? Honey. How could you? I can explain it. It was for the restaurant. I don't care what it was for. How could you go behind my back like that? Because I didn't want to worry you. All right, it's a short-term thing. I fell behind on a few payments to a few vendors. Since when do you pay your vendors in cash? It was a show of good faith. I mean, what do you think? I lost it at the track or something? I don't know what to think, Michael. I really don't. I thought I could trust you. You can. Look. I made a mistake. I should have come to you. It will not happen again. I just don't understand. I thought business was good. It is. Cash flow is just a little tight right now. My father said that he would give you money, Michael. Catherine, I know what I'm doing. I promise you, I've got this under control.
I'm at mom and dad's. Got late. I haven't fell asleep, so we're just gonna spend the night here. I didn't want to bother you at work. Good night. Think about it. Just keep your mind on something pleasant. I am warm. I hope your husband appreciates everything you're doing for him. That's not just for him. Come on, though. If it weren't for men and their Victoria's Secret expectations, wouldn't you really be kicking back over some of those warm chocolate chip cookies right now? Maybe. Trust me, it's all they care about. I can't even tell you how many married men hit on me. You think it's because of my IQ? It could be. Yeah. Men just can't be trusted. Be good for business. I gotta go to the cops. With what? How can you prove she did anything? Besides, you risk Captain finding out about the affair. It was not an affair. I don't think she'll appreciate the distinction. I mean, why is she doing this? What did I do to bring this woman into my life? Do you hear back from PI? No, not yet. Let me see if I can let it fire in his ass. Could it get any worse? Well, if there is an upside to this. I can't remember the last time we had dinner together. When are you going to reopen the restaurant? Friday. Hmm. Not that I think anybody's going to come. Sweetheart, if you're worried about money, you know I can go back to work soon. No! All right, will you just let me handle it?
Is there somebody else? Catherine, how could you even ask me that? That's not an answer. There is no one else. There never will be anybody else. I love you. I'm gonna find a way to make this up to you, I promise. Mr. Jenkins? Michael? Call me Jim. So, uh, why are we meeting here? I had to drop off my kid. My ex was supposed to do it, but... Anyway, Chuck said you were in a hurry? Yeah. You find the dam? Born and raised in Oakland, California. She bounced from state to state over the years, jumped from job to job. Let me skip straight to the highlights. She spent three years in a psychiatric institution after she tried to kill her father. What? Uh, apparently there was a long history of abuse. Then she's 16 years old. She comes home one day and then she catches the old man wailing on her sister. So she goes after him with a carving knife. Diagnosis was post-traumatic stress disorder. But uh, she got a vet with the plea bill health. Wait a second, you said there was a sister? Yeah. Uh, Ariel. Ariel. I used to date a girl named Ariel in San Francisco. What, an Ariel Delegan? Ariel Delegan. what this is all about? It has to be. How long ago was it? Six? Seven years? Right before I met Catherine. Yes. Yes. It seems like a long time to hold a grudge. Or was Ariel during all this? I don't know. I tried to contact her, but the number I have for her is disconnected. So... Yeah. Maybe you should call the cops after all. What am I going to say to them? I can't prove that Suzanne did anything. Besides, if Catherine finds out, you have to do something, right? Who knows how far this girl's willing to go? Yeah, you're right. Hello. Suzanne, it's Michael. We need to talk. I know what this is about, and I want to clear the air. Do you now? I am sorry about your sister. I'm sure you are. I don't know what she told you, but things were never that serious between us. Well, you got her pregnant. I am sorry. I cannot change what happened. That's exactly right. You can't. No one can. What do you want from me? 
You want me to apologize to her? Get her on the phone. I will apologize. Are you not listening? We can't. Why? She's dead. She killed herself. And you don't know the life she had. She was the most beautiful, sweet, innocent little girl. And you know what? She would have been a beautiful mother. Don't touch me. I'm sorry. I didn't know. You have every right to be angry. Do you think that you can just talk your way out of this? What do you want me to do? I mean, whether you believe me or not, I'm sorry, I never meant to hurt your sister. You didn't mean to hurt her? You may as well have blown her brains out yourself. When I lost her, I lost everything that was important to me. I was this close to joining her. Do you know what stopped me? One thing. The hope of finding you. What can I do? You know what you can do? You can suffer the way you made Ariel suffer. That's what you can do. Stuff so fast. Hey. Look who's home. What the hell are you doing here? Michael. It's all right, Catherine. I can only imagine how stressed you must be. It's no reason to be rude, is it? It's late. I should probably get going. I will um, see you at the gym, though, yeah? Yeah, of course. Okay. What the hell was that about? Look, I don't know how to tell you this, Catherine. I had to let her go. Well, she said she quit. She said she wanted to focus more on her personal training. <laughs> See, she was acting strangely at work, so I checked her out, and it turns out she's done some pretty, pretty terrible things. Like what? Well, let's see, to start, she was in the nut house. Are you talking about what her father did to her and her sister? She told you that? Yeah. That's not why you fired her, though, is it? No, not just that. Are you sleeping with her, Michael? Of course not, Catherine. Then why the hell have you been acting this way lately? What's wrong with you? Please. Catherine. What? You want the truth? Right before I met you, I dated Suzanne's sister. All right? She was a messed up kid. It didn't work out. And Suzanne, she still blames me. She started the fire in the restaurant. She put these matches in our baby's crib. That's why you've been acting... Michael, why am I just now hearing about this? Because I thought that I could handle it. Oh, Michael. Look, I already fired her. 
if we both just stay away from her, what else can she do? I don't know, but I'm not going to wait around to find out. Catherine. Uh, Susan Dell. You mean Delegan? Yeah. Is she here? Are you a member? No, I just, I really need to see her. I'm sorry, the gym is for members only. Is she here? Isn't she as important? She is training Mrs. Littman. She should be done in a few minutes. Oh, wait. Michael. Listen to me, you crazy bitch. Wow. What's gotten into you? You don't think I know how those matches ended up in my son's crib? Oh, yeah, you should probably be more careful. I already told her about you. She knows everything. Really? I bet she doesn't know everything. You will stay the hell away from my wife, Catherine. You will stay the hell away from my son. Or else what? Or else I... Hey! Let her go. Mind your own business. Wrong answer. Hey. It's okay. No, no, nobody lays hands on you. Listen, there is nothing that I wouldn't do for my family. Nothing! No. No, but she promised that she would leave us alone. What do you say we just get away from everything? You, me, and the baby. Michael. We can go to that little beach hotel. The one in Maui. The one where we spent our honeymoon. You lied to me. You let this woman into our lives. A vacation isn't just going to make it right. I'm sorry. You're sorry. More than anything, I always thought I could trust you. I'm going to go pack a few things and stay at Gwen's for a while. Catherine. You can see Evan whenever you want, but I... I need some time to myself. Tonight. 
Just seven so far. Very lucky that she not managed to dial 911. Well, what happened? We're not sure. Um, does your wife take any medications? No. What about alcohol? She has the occasional glass of red wine. Is my wife going to be okay? She seems stable at the moment, um, but she had stopped breathing by the time the paramedics got to her. We'll have a clearer picture when we get the lab first gets back. Thank you. Mr. Miller? Michael Miller? What's this about? Detective Kern, Philly PD. Stand up, please. Michael? Michael Miller, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of Catherine Miller. What? You have the right to Michael? remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used hey. against you in the court of law. Fine. They're going to keep her for observation, but she should be out in a couple days. Thank God. Make a call first thing Monday. See if I can get your bail hearing moved up to the top of the docket. Monday, I cannot spend the weekend in here. You weren't pulled over for speeding, Michael. The iced tea the Kathleen was drinking was laced with ethylene glycol. That's antifreeze. Well, apparently, it tastes like sugar. It's Suzanne. Suzanne did this. She's the one who tipped off the police. Says that you two were having an affair, that you're having serious money problems, that you talked to her about killing Catherine for the insurance. That is insane. She says that when she got scared, tried to break it off, that you threatened to kill her too. Apparently there was an incident outside of her gym. Eli, she is setting me up. Police subpoenaed your financial records. You recently borrowed $75,000 in cash. Eli, it is her, I am telling you. At the end of the day, it's all going to come down to Catherine's testimony. Yeah. Catherine would never believe that I had anything to do with this. There's one more thing. What? When they searched your home in your closet, they found a video. Interesting. Charged with the attempted murder of his wife, local restaurateur Michael Miller has been released on a half a million dollars bail. The judge, however, issued a restraining order against Mr. Miller, who is prohibited from any contact with his wife, Catherine Kearney Miller, the daughter of real estate mogul Thomas Kearney, or with his infant son. Mrs. Miller has been released from the hospital, but is unavailable for comment. We'll continue to follow this story as we receive updates. Thanks for bailing me out. I forget about it. Just don't leave town. Hey, I already put in a call to the best defense attorney in the city, all right? 
Plays golf with Klein of mine. Get you through this. Maybe, but my business is finished, and Catherine... She knows you never meant to hurt her. But I did. I did hurt her. Whatever happens, man, she knows you love her, okay? Deep down. She'll get over it. I know she will. Why didn't I just tell her the truth from the start? Listen, I'm just gonna stay in my place. All right, maybe it'll be easier on you. No. Thanks. All right. You need anything? Just want to talk, whatever. You give me a call, okay? Cancel tonight. I would. It, it's just this client is. I know, honey. It's fine. I know. I. I already have Evan sound asleep. So. I, I just can't believe Mike will try to kill you. I don't believe that at all. There's no way he would ever, ever do that to us. Well, we didn't think he could cheat on you either, Gwen. I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. I. I take that back. I know. I know. It's okay. I'm sorry. I can't talk about this right now. I feel like my head is just gonna explode. Okay, get some sleep, okay? Okay, you be careful. Okay, I love you. You too, baby. for this to be over why are you planning on turning yourself in <laughs> cute i want you to meet me at the restaurant what the hell do you want from me now i thought you might want to see your son you can't hang on i think he wants to say something Please don't. Relax, it was just a little tension. Oh my god, Catherine. She'll be fine. I figure that poor woman's been through a lot. Please look, I will do anything that you want. Go to the restaurant, turn off the security cameras, and wait inside. Okay, fine. And Mikey, if you even think about calling the cops, or calling anyone. Oh no. And your little boy will turn up floating in the river.
Where's the other? Take it easy. Someone's watching him for me. Someone who'd kill his own kid for ten grand. I swear, if anything happens to him, if anything happens to him, it's gonna look like you did it. I can promise you that. Let's get down to business. What do you want from me? You want more money? A girl like me can always make money. What then? You're gonna make a confession. Let's go. I'm so sorry, Suzanne. I don't know. I just, I can't do this. I... Yeah? Because you told me there was nothing you wouldn't do for your family, and I still have your son. I am so sorry, Suzanne. I don't know how things got so messed up. I thought with Catherine out of the picture, you could finally see how serious I really was. All that I ever wanted was for us to be together, a family. You, me, and the baby. I just hope that someday you will know the depths of my feelings. And the fire that burns for you in my soul. That was moving. That ought to convince a jury, don't you think? We have to do is email this to me. You bring me heaven first. Sure. Deal's a deal. Yeah. Hey, bring the kid. You got it. here has a history of being unstable. His suicide will seem inevitable. Suzanne, please. If we get caught... We're not getting caught. In fact, they'll never even know we were here. Look, I don't know. This Shut up, Jimmy! My sister meant everything to me. She shot herself in the head because of you. You deserve to die exactly the same way. I'm not down with this. Jimmy, I see you! I'm not